There are four different types of forces in nature and one of these forces is the weak nuclear force. Now the weak nuclear force is said to act over a very short distance. The question is how short? In this lecture, we're going to use Heisenberg's uncertainty principle to estimate the distance over which the weak nuclear force acts. So recall that the gauge bosons, the fundamental particles that are said to carry or mediate the weak nuclear force is the W gauge boson which comes in two types. We have the W positive or W negative and the Z gauge boson and their respective rest mass energies is given by this table. Now, how exactly can we use these values to calculate what our distance is over which our weak nuclear force acts? So to actually help us visualize, let's take an example of a beta negative decay. So let's suppose we have a neutron that undergoes beta negative decay, it transforms into a proton, an electron, and our electron antineutrino. So this is shown in the following Feynman diagram. We basically have a neutron that decays into a proton and what happens is one of the quarks of our neutron, the down quark, transforms into the up quark forming the proton in the process that releases a certain particle. It releases the W negative gauge boson to conserve that electric charge. And this gauge boson given by W negative which has this rest mass energy travels over some small interval before actually uh, transforming into the electron and our electron antineutrino. The question is what is this distance over which our gauge boson travels? Remember when the gauge boson travels it is said to mediate or carry that weak nuclear force. So we can think of the weak nuclear force as acting over this small distance. The question is what is this distance? distance. Well, to calculate or estimate this distance, we're going to assume that the velocity of this W gauge boson is velocity of light in a vacuum, so 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So let's begin by applying Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. So according to the uncertainty principle, we know that a certain amount of energy is not conserved over this time interval that it takes this gauge boson to travel this distance. So delta E, the amount of energy that is not conserved multiplied by delta T, the time it takes the gauge boson to travel is equal to or approximately equal to our reduced Planck's constant h bar. Now we can rearrange and solve for delta T. Delta T is given by this ratio. Now what is delta T? Well delta T is basically the time interval over which our particle travels that carries that or mediates that weak nuclear force. Now, to calculate the distance, we simply take the velocity of our particle assumed to be the speed of light and multiply it by our time interval. So velocity multiplied by time gives the distance in meters. Now the velocity is c, our time is this, so we get this equation. Now before we actually use this equation, we have to find what the delta E in energy is. Well, the amount of energy that is not conserved over this time interval is simply the rest mass energy. It's how much energy needs to be produced to create our virtual gauge boson given by W negative which has this mass, this much rest mass energy. So, we have to actually convert mega electron volts into joules. So we have this quantity in mega electron volts multiplied by 10 to the 6 electron volts in 1 mega electron volt and then we multiply that by 1.6 times 10 to negative 19 joules per electron volt and we get this amount of energy is not conserved. 
So now we plug this into our distance equation. So C, the speed of light in a vacuum multiplied by h bar, our constant, the reduced Planck's constant, divided by our amount of energy that is not conserved gives us the distance over which this gauge boson travels. And this is also the distance over which the weak nuclear force is set to act because this gauge boson W is set to carry or mediate that weak nuclear force. So 2.46 times 10 to negative 18 meters, which is in fact a very, very, very tiny distance, much smaller than say the force of gravity, which can act over very large distances.